Alright, so guys, actually, you know, I want to stop talking about Ghana and talk about other countries. But oh boy, oh boy, I can't catch a break from that country. Goodies upon goodies upon goodies. You remember we made an episode about a Hungarian president visit to Ghana? Yeah, that historic one. Yeah, and we talked about some important milestones that would come with his visit. Yeah, visa waivers and more. Yeah, one thing that we touched on in that episode, but we didn't have time to talk about in detail is the commission of the Kumasi Wastewater Management Project. Well, guess what? The Hungarian president with his wife and delegation arrived in Kumasi on Friday to inspect and commission one of the biggest wastewater management systems in sub-Saharan Africa. Well, this airport landing footage and videos at the Kumasi International Airport of the Hungarian president was taken by a subscriber, Yao Oscar. Thank you for your service to Madagana and Africa, and I really appreciate you for the videos. Yeah, so technically, good news for Ghana and Kumasi, as the long-awaited Kumasi wastewater management system opens on Monday. Just to give you a little bit of a background of the project, you know, Wastewater and waste at large has been a canker for several African states where we want the continent to rise. But I mean, these are some of the, you know, we have to face what, some of the problems that we are facing right now. And so, yeah, speaking about the Kumase Wastewater Management Project System, in 2021, the Jospon group of companies signed an agreement with a Hungarian side, Pureko KFT, to construct the first of 13 regional wastewater treatment facilities in Ghana in a $150 million agreement. Well, that project has been completed in a record time. The facility is set to produce about 1,000 cubic meters of water per day. Well, I don't know if it's cubic meters or cubic liters or whatever it is. Yes, <laughs> the water engineers, just talk about it. All I care about is the project. So yeah, 1,000 cubic meters of water a day with a capacity to serve more than 2 million people in the Kumasi metropolis. Ah, that's a wow of a project. It also has the capacity to receive and treat about 150 crisp tanks of liquid wastewater trucks on a daily basis. So accompanying the president of Hungary and his delegation were the CEO of Jospon Group, Dr. Sian Ejapon, the Ashanti Regional Minister, my own grandpa, Mr. Simon Osemensa, grandpa, and the Minister of Sanitation and Water Resources, Mrs. Cecilia Dapa. The president of Hungary is set to visit the Ashanti King Nano 2482 in his final hours in Kumasi before his departure. I hope this facility will indeed be the first of its kind in all the regions across Ghana and even transfer to the rest of Africa. Ghana on the move, Africa must rise. Ghana on my mind, Africa rising on my mind. Well, in ending, and most importantly, I hope this project will solve the frequent flooding in Kumasi for good, as these waters will be channeled to the treatment centers through the pipes and underground tubes. Well, Kumasi got it. Accra on my mind with infrastructure and road networks. I think Ghana <laughs> has found the African antidote, yeah, to pauperry. And I think other African countries, yeah, you have to learn, emulate. Things are really working in my country and I feel proud. Like I said, See you home soon. <laughs> Should I say see you or see me home soon? Well, if you are new here, kindly subscribe for more of such episodes. My name is Bekwe Bernard Boma. This is the Black Excellence channel. You can also say PWT, Black Street Tonight, African Rising. We only concern ourselves with things like this on the continent. I mean, yeah, we all have our problems. Which continent doesn't? So it depends on what you choose to tell. We tell it our way and always positive. Subscribe for more. I will see you when I see you.